Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live photography show on Facebook every weekday at 9.30 a.m. at facebook.com slash photo joseph. Welcome. Welcome to the show. And welcome, my lovely guest, Keisha. Thank you, Keisha. Hi. How's it going? Keisha is here because we were just out taking some pictures. And is Jesse Dictor, is that a friend of yours? Yeah. Well, hello, look at that. Jesse saying hi in there. What? Wait, somebody's very excited that you're here this morning. See, this is why we share the That's we share so the live funny. feed. So, um, hi Jesse. Hi Jesse. There you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> and again, of course, if you are watching live, please do chime in. Please do say hello. Please do say something in the comments. We love seeing you there. So, today's photo moment is all about the fancy schmancy new iPhone Seven Plus dual camera portrait mode on iOS 10.1 that was just released into beta yesterday or day before, and maybe I missed it. But anyway, it's here. And so this morning, I went out to do some pictures of Keisha. Now, I shot a whole behind the scenes video while I was doing that. Now, that was this is literally this morning. We were out there less than an hour ago shooting. And so I did not have time to edit this yet. This is not edited. What I am going to do is edit this and insert it into the, look at Clarissa's watching as well. <laughs> Hi, Clarissa. Uh, we're gonna edit this in and drop it into the video version, the, uh, the YouTube version of this video. So if you're watching this live on Facebook right now, you will have to rewatch it again. I know that's tragic. Later on, uh, on YouTube, and I'll put a link to that in the notes. If you're watching this on YouTube, then just keep on watching because the video will already be there. So, uh, but I do want to talk a little bit about the experience and show you some of the pictures because we can do that directly from the iPhone. So you, you have an iPhone. Yes. You know what pictures look like when you take a picture of your friends. Yes. What's the background always look like? Is it um, soft and blurry and nice yeah. bokeh, or is it all in focus? It's all in focus. All in focus, yeah. right. And that is, of course, what the new portrait mode does. And mm. you saw this out there. Yeah. It's incredible. The whole idea is that using the two cameras, one of them, the, tele the telephoto camera, the 50 millimeter lens, is the one that focuses on the individual. And then the wide lens is used as a second picture, basically, and it's composited together in real time. It's kind of insane. And I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with how it worked. You saw some pictures as we yes. went. Did you mm. like it? Yes. It definitely, definitely didn't look like an iPhone photo. There you go. Definitely did not look like an iPhone photo. So we're just going to pop in ye old iPhone here and take a quick look at some of these pictures. And what's cool, too, when you're shooting these, I discovered, is that it takes not only the portrait mode picture that you're setting up for, but it also will uh, save the standard picture. So you can see a back and forth right away. When I shot the video, I didn't realize that at first. And so I was, I was switching between the normal mode and the portrait mode. So I'd have the comparison. And then I realized at some point, oh, I don't actually have to do that, which is kind of convenient. So let's see here. I am going to let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone. Uh, there we go. And so there's, okay, let's go here. There's a picture, normal picture. And then there's one with the depth effect. And you don't see it on your screen, but it says it has a little badge on mine that says depth effect. We're just going to flip through a few of these. So there's the normal and the depth effect. I mean, I'm just, I'm so blown away by what this has done. And let me back up. There's some more. I get a little bit closer up. Got a little bit trickier with it. Put another element in the scene. So there's these leaves that are close up to her. And of course, there's the standard iPhone picture. And there's the depth effect. And look, even you can see the leaves are totally isolated in there. And it just, it's incredible. I am so, so impressed by what this is doing. So, okay, enough of that. Now, this is where I'm gonna insert the video. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you're gonna have to come back. If you're watching this on YouTube, let's start the new video now. Alrighty, so what we've got here is the new iPhone 7 Plus with the dual camera and we're testing out the new portrait mode. Now you can see here on the camera that it's currently in the photo mode, but here's the new fancy portrait mode. And even right away on the bottom, it says place subject within eight feet and it also says depth effect. So I've got my friend Keisha here. Thank you so much for coming out on this early, very cold morning here so that we can make this work. Now it's giving me some guidelines here. Actually, that was really cool, right? As soon as I pulled it up, let's watch that again. It said, move closer. There, move closer. So there's a limit. Oh, not you. Sorry, Keisha. <laughs> um, and now it says depth effect. And we can already see the background being out of focus. So, okay, let's start taking some pictures. Keisha, look fabulous, as you always do. Awesome. And look at the background there. Nicely soft. I'm going to switch over to the regular photo mode real quick and use the 2X lens, because that's what this is using. And Keisha, go ahead and just look over the other direction just as you were before. Perfect. And there's a comparison photo. Go back to the portrait mode. That is such a huge difference. That's incredible. Can I get a bit closer to her? Um, 
Let's see here, let's put the background even farther away. So I'm gonna rotate this direction and get real nice and close. You go ahead and look at me this time. Thanks, nice smile, lovely, beautiful. Fabulous, and keep looking at me. Nice, so pretty, perfect. And that background is incredible. Let me switch back to the regular photo mode again, zoom back to 2X to see the difference and smile at me again. There we go, nice. That is frankly remarkable. It's really cool how you see it pop in and out of blur. Let's see, let's do something else. Why don't we, um, why don't you come over here? And I wanna try and get these red leaves in there and I'm gonna kinda go down, look up a little bit. Oops, try not to fall over while I do it. There we go, oh, perfect, okay. So it says, uh, it said place subject within eight feet. So there's a limit here, I can't get too far away. That's it, oh, dang, look at that. That is so cool. Here, Keisha, I wanna show this to you because I know you have an iPhone. Look at the awesome. difference. Look yeah. at the blurry background here. That's great. So that's the one without. Oh, so the camera's automatically shooting with and without the blur. So every shot there, look at that. Look at yeah, that. That's, that's what you would normally get with the iPhone. Yeah. And that's what you get. That's awesome. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like an iPhone photo. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. That is, uh, that is remarkable. Let's do some more because we're here and this is fabulous. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Why don't you have a seat on the uh, edge of the little wall there. Beautiful coat. Thank you. I want to see, I want to kind of test the limits of this thing. So there we go. It's already focused on her. And you can see I, I must be right at the limit because every once in a while it says, now it says move farther away. So it's a little bit confused. Um, let's see here. Now it's in, okay. So that's working. Let me move farther away and see what happens. Let's step back a little bit. And see, yeah, it's telling me to move closer. If I take a picture, it's like it's trying to do it. And I'm definitely more than eight feet away. Let me try to go back even farther and see what happens. If I tap to focus on her, yeah, it's just telling me to move closer. So that is not likely to be working. Now let's see what happens if I get too close. It's time for your close up, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that actually, that works fine. It can focus that close. Wow, that is beautiful. Of course, it helps to have a fabulous model. Looking very, very nice. That is frankly remarkable. I am absolutely blown away. And I'm not gonna switch over to the regular photo one now since we have some of those to compare to. Let's see, I'm sure there's a point where I get too close. Yeah, it says move farther away. Yeah, so it's not gonna get, you can see the background is sharp. So move back a little bit, boom, there's the depth effect. And this software is in beta. That is pretty remarkable. Super. Well, I think that's what we've what we needed. That's I'm blown away. This is really really impressive. Um, I will put some of the photos up for you guys to download so that you can just pull them down and, and take a look at them closely. Pixel peep them if you want to. But from what I've seen right here, I am absolutely blown away. This is uh, this is remarkable. Thanks guys for watching. So here I wanted to try a couple of slightly more difficult situations. I'm gonna include some other element other than her, namely this tree in the shot. See how well it does breaking the leaves out against the background that's supposed to be blurry and see if that confuses the camera or if it actually manages that all right. So Keisha, let's see, why don't you come in a little bit closer to the leaves in there. Yeah, that works. And depth effect, wow, look at that, there it is. It is working. I, go ahead. I like that, looking up at them. Okay. Touching with that hand, that's perfect. Yep, very nice. Just exploring the beautiful red leaves of autumn. This is really remarkable. Uh, let's see, come, can you stand up on that? Yeah. Is that not too slippery? Yeah, <laughs> get up close and personal with the leaves, perfect. <laughs> so again, we are seeing the depth effect. This will be really interesting when looking at up close to see how the leaves are broken out. And go ahead and, and turn towards me, face me, and just put your head quite close to the leaves, like they're kind of, there you go, yeah, like that. Nice. Beautiful. So we definitely have some background in there that's getting soft. A little farther back. Let me move one of these leaves, just mm -hmm. go ahead, no, back where you were. I just wanted to get this one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. 
I guess I'm seeing a little bit of, of residue around the side of her head. That's interesting. We'll see how that looks in the final picture. Some chin up. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful smile. Love it. Love it. Perfect. Okay. I think we're good. Great. Well, again, really impressed by what it's doing. Let's see when we look at the pictures up close. But I think we may have a winner with this two lens combo portrait mode on the iPhone 7 Plus with iOS 10.1 where this is in beta. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Okay, and we're back. So, <laughs> all right, um, most of what I want to say I've said, and of course the big important part is going to come later on. Uh, Keisha is a local model, well, part-time model. Let's say part-time model, should we say? Mm, I wouldn't say so. I usually just help out um, Harley, you know, from Harley's Closet. I wouldn't really consider myself a model, but I'm down to help anybody out. Well, <laughs> you're awesome. And uh, thank you for coming in the yeah. last minute. I was texting her last night at 1030 going, oh, crap, I don't <laughs> have somebody for tomorrow morning. How am I going to do this? Uh, yeah, you've you've met Harley Case before. She was on uh, a different show, my Conversations show. I had her on a couple of months ago or a month or so ago. And so if you haven't seen that, do look for that. And I'll put a link to that in here as well. And... Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's somebody else saying hi in there. Look at you. you all, all your friends. None of my oh. people are watching today. Where's so all my sweet. people? Where's all my people watching and commenting? Fine. I know there's a bunch of you watching live and no one's commenting. Uh -huh. uh, except for her friends. And I should have you on more often because when we get the comments, oh. this, is, this is a good thing. Uh, but tell people your Instagram so people can follow you on Instagram. Okay. Pictures. It's um, at Keisha Brown Town. And it's just K-E-A-S-H-A Brown Town. Excellent. I will put a... <laughs> I'll put a lower third, be like here or something. I'll put a little lower third thing for the final edit. Uh, anywhere else you want people to go to check out your stuff, um, your work, what you do? I have an Etsy account, and um, it's at Shady Days. Um, that's where I I post photos of all the handmade lampshades and other, like, just uh, home decor that I thrift. Cool. Yeah. Okay, that's what I saw on your Instagram, something like, call me the lampshade lady or something oh, yeah. like that. Is that what I see? That? Yeah. I had no idea what that meant. Now I know what that means. Perfect. All right. Super. Well, thank you so much yeah, for coming on. I know you have to get to work. Um, we're basically done here. So I've shown you a little bit of it. I'm going to go edit this thing right now and put the big video up on YouTube. And once that's done, I'll put the link up on uh, on the Facebook page as well. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, then ignore that part because you already <laughs> saw it. Thanks a lot, guys, uh, for tuning in today for today's Photo Joseph Photo Moment. It is Friday going into the weekend. Have yourselves a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, folks. So I came back because I wanted to show you some of the still photos on their own and zoom in close to them because as amazing as things looked in the video and on screen on the iPhone, once you look at it up close, it starts to fall down a little bit. Now, this is still a remarkable, remarkable thing. Plus, let's not forget that this is in beta, so this could potentially get better. But at the end of the day, what the iPhone is doing is compositing an image, two images from two different cameras and putting those together in real time. So on that side of it. When you look at it that way, it is unbelievable what it's actually doing. But when you look up close, it really does kind of fall down a bit. And it does make me kind of wonder, the videos that we saw in the Apple Keynote, for those of you who saw that, where we were seeing these on a huge projection, uh, at least for those who were there, seeing on a huge projection, otherwise seeing a big screen and a TV. I, was there some heavy retouching done? I don't know, because uh, when you look at the edges on these, it tends to fall down a little bit. So let's just take a quick look at what this actually looks like here. Okay, here's all the pictures that I took today, and let's uh, let's just start at the beginning. Um, all right, right off, you know, like something like this, just it looks great, right? I mean, if we're looking at it this far back, it looks really, really good. So, okay, there's without the uh, checking with a regular camera. Before I realized that every time you take a portrait mode picture, it also saves the non-portrait mode. That might actually be a setting. I haven't looked, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so here. Here you can see, you know, this is looking really good. I mean, really, honestly, this looks phenomenal, right? That looks so good. But let's let's find a, a kind of a closer up one, get a little bit more detail. And oh, this is an example where it was too far back. I was too far away. It couldn't do the portrait mode thing, which is not to be expected, obviously. Okay, so that's looking. Let's let's take a look at this one. I'm gonna zoom into 100%. Let's see here. Let's make sure we're at 100. Zoom into 100%. And first of all, just looking at the pixels on her face, look at around her eyes, look around the nose. This is really pixely. This is like a, like a serious noise reduction happening or something. Not looking terribly good. And if you command I this, info on it, I thought maybe this is shooting at some crazy high ISO, but it's not, it's 200. And some of these were shot at 125. So I don't know what the excuse is for this much 
pixelization. Uh, it was fairly low light. You know, let's, it was a foggy day. It's a little bit low light out there. But um, I don't know. That just didn't. It seems to really kind of not hold up that well. And where we really start to see this, let's go for these ones here with the red leaves. So there's the non portrait mode picture. And again, if we zoom into 100%, you can see there is a lot of artifacting. Um, it's not JPEG artifacting. It's like a noise reduction, which again, low light. So that could be exactly what it is. Maybe in full and sunlight, this would look better. Which in fact, I'm sure it would. But you can see quite a lot of, of crunching around the, around the eyes here. Now we go to the next picture where, so going back again, that's where we just were. Let's go to the next picture and zoom, uh, zoom in again. Let's try this again. And this is where we're going to really start to see it break down. So look around her nose. You see this kind of haloing as it's comping between the two. Um, here it's blurred into her eye a little bit. I'll have another example that actually kind of ate into her eye a bit. Looking around the the leaf edge there, again, you're seeing it, which I guess around the leaf is really not that bad. Um, it's more around the face here where it gets a little bit bothersome. Let's go to another picture here. This one's probably even more so this way. So again, around here, you're really seeing some funny artifacting happening there. And let's see, that, I think that was the eye one that I was talking about. Yeah, this one here. Let's zoom in close to that. So here, you're really you can see around here, it's like it um, it's like it threw her eye as part of the background. So her eye there is kind of gone. You get the funny bumps around the nose. And if we go back to the previous picture, the one that doesn't have the portrait mode, you can see that that should be her eye. But you can see why the software thought that that was part of the background, because just the way the camera is angled, it does definitely blend in. So I don't know. With that said, it, it is remarkable still. I, I, I kind of can't say that enough how amazing it is what is happening, but it's certainly far from perfect. And let's again be fair, it's beta software. So here you're really seeing that noise reduction. Um, that's got to be what it is, noise reduction in there. So definitely not, not that clean. But that said, if you're just going to put these on Instagram, uh, on your Facebook page, unbelievable. Right, and, and, and I think it's fair to point out that that really is what this is for. You know, up on stage, Phil Schiller showing them this huge projection. He kind of makes it look like, oh my God, you can throw away your DSLR. No, no, you can't. <laughs> this is not going to replace that. But it's cool. And it, if nothing else, it's an amazing, amazing example of where the tech is going, where tiny little cameras and tiny sensors and tiny lenses are going. So... Am I thrilled with what it's doing? Yes. Do I think it's unbelievably awesome? Yes. Is it going to replace a DSLR or a mirrorless camera? No. Is it meant to? No. Is it meant to make your Instagram photos or your friends and family look even more awesome? Yes. And that I think is the key here. We are, we are not trying to use this to shoot a magazine cover, although I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> that's, that's what people do. Uh, that's not what it's for. It's for, it's that camera that you always have with you. You know, the old saying that the best camera in the world is the one you have with you. If all you have with you is your iPhone, and for most of us, that is exactly the only camera that we have with us 99% of the time, it's remarkable that we can do this. This this is real world. And I took Keisha out this morning to um, up in Lithia Park here, up locally, up by the duck pond. And we did some beautiful photos by the in the fall and the mist, and it was really nice. Very real world in the sense that there was no additional lighting, no retouching. What you're seeing here is completely original. And by the way, you can download a, a bunch of these. I've set up a package for anybody to download so you can really pixel, pixel peep these and see them on your own. URL right here. Just go ahead and grab those. No problem. Please don't publish them as yours. You know, But that's it. That's all I ask. Um, and if you want to use them in any blog post or other video, just give me credit. PhotoJoseph, PhotoJoseph.com. Link back to this YouTube page, whatever. I don't care. Just give me some credit. Um, this wasn't, again, they weren't retouched. They weren't, uh, you know, lighting or anything like that. This is really very realistic, real world. I'll be playing with this quite a bit. I will, every time I go to take a picture of one of my kids, I'm going to flip it into that mode and, and try and get a better picture because, you know what, it's awesome. When you think about even, here's a perfect example. Okay, I take, I got a little two-year-old and, you know, he's sitting at the table, whatever. You know, you're always taking pictures. But what's the background like? Well, the background usually sucks at home. You know, it's just, it's the kitchen. There's toys on the floor. There's dirty dishes on the counter. You know, it's real world. That's not nice. But if you can blur the background out, 
that's kind of awesome, right? If you go into portrait mode and you're just taking a snapshot of your kid at the table or at the playground or whatever, and the stuff in the background is just boring or dis distracting or ugly, and you can make that go blurry just with one tap, that's pretty phenomenal. So a lot of different ways to look at this. At the end of the day, remarkable, not perfect, not meant to be, and still in beta, so probably gonna get better. Uh, that's it, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm out of here, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.